Did you know that the Minister for Foreign Affairs in Ireland is the one who issues the the passport? It's, a, it's strange, isn't it? Because every other country on the earth, it's usually the Homeland Department that issues their people passports. But in Ireland, it's the Minister for Foreign Affairs. So that either means that the government are foreign to the people or the people are foreign to the government. Well, if you look up on Dun & Bradstreet, Government of Ireland, it's um, a registered corporation. It's the same with the guards. They're a registered corporation on Dun & Bradstreet. Dun & Bradstreet is registered to the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. So the Government of Ireland and Ireland written like this in all uppercase text. That's not English and it's not Irish. That's sign language that they try to pass off as English. It's a fraud, it's a fiction. And what it really is and what it really means is you have citizenship of a foreign corporate military banking ship that you've become a slave of, a citizen. So you're now under Admiralty Law which governs the crew members on ships. And when you're under military rule, you follow orders and you don't have any rights. You follow acts, statutes, codes, policies, and you get privileges and benefits for good behavior. So this is why I'm seeing people at a lot of these protests at the moment, and I'm seeing videos of the guards stamping all over constitutional rights well, the constitution is a con, and the fact that you're going around saying you're an Irish citizen and that you think you have rights, you're a slave that follows orders. So this is how they're getting away with a lot of what they're able to do. And people are asking, I, I have rights, and but y you don't. And that's why they trample all over. The protesting is not going to stop any of these UN soldiers from being let into the country. It's not going to happen. Uh, the best thing you can do is just completely blank and ignore the system and come back to the standing of being a man and a woman because the state has no jurisdiction over men or women. It has jurisdiction over citizens and people who carry a surname and use that surname, state-owned, call themselves residents and, and persons and individuals and humans. God didn't create that. God created men and women. If you're going out and protesting for something else like, you know, freedom to travel, freedom of speech, because they're saying they're going to take it away from you. Well, if you protest that, then you assume that they have the right to take those away. And they then assume that you assume that they can do that. So therefore they will. So the best thing to do is ignore the state entirely. And correct your standing and come back to the position of standing on the land and being a man and woman again.